Hey everybody, it's uh, the first morning of the Indiana firearm season and uh, I'm kind of ticked off but um, here's my setup. This is my 300 blackout, the new legal cartridge for deer hunting on private property, which I'm on. But uh, what happened was um, I had my camera set up on my gun and everything and I was going to record a shot. And I don't know why, but every time I try to record for deer hunting, it doesn't happen. I forgot my SD card, so I'm kind of ticked about that. But uh, if you guys want to stay with me here, um, I'll run you through, run you down what happened. I'm actually standing exactly where I was, where I shot the deer at, and I'll show you that too. I leaned against this tree and shot him out in that opening right there and straight ahead. Um, it was probably about a 60 to 70 yard shot maybe we'll step it off to see but uh i'm gonna go ahead and walk out that way and see if i can find him he crashed he went over to the left side of the woods over there and i uh, heard him drop so um i'm gonna go ahead and just cover what i was using here um like i said my 300 blackout with the center point scope awesome scopes um 150 grain interlock hornady uh, shooting 14 grains of IMR or uh, H40 uh, Hodgden little gun excuse me I got so many uh, powders but uh, so I don't know exactly the velocity of the bullet but hornady claims the 150s are going about um, I think it was like 1,650 feet per second, but then Hodgden on their website actually claimed that this load was going 1,825. So there's a variance, but um, this gun was zeroed at 100, and we shot closer than that, and that's why I like this 300 blackout. I'm just giving him some time to make sure he's gone. I don't want to walk over there just yet, but um, if you guys want to stick with me here, we'll go through exactly how it happened. Um, but like I said, this was sighted in at 100 yards and uh, the blackout is a great cartridge for me at least in this this part of the woods uh, where i'm hunting at because i wouldn't make a shot past um, 150 or so just because there's you know still houses around and they didn't really want to pass the law but uh for you know high powered center fire cartridges but so uh anyways that's why i chose this round for this spot um, you know, if I was out in a op more open area with no, you know, structures or houses or anything like that, I would have got my 308 or 30 out six. But this one, you know, at 100 yards, it's zero. At 200, um, according to ballistics from Nikon spot on, this bullet drops about a foot. And that's with, you know, no drag or anything, perfect condition. But since I actually shot the deer, the bullet actually, you know, if it went all the way through, which it probably did, um, the drop is going to be even more significant. So, like I said, for my area, um, you know, this is a perfect round. Um, I, I was getting half inch, three quarter inch groups at a hundred yards. So it's pretty much on, um, little bit, you know, a little bit more accurate than a slug gun. Um, you know, the only thing I could say compared to this would be a, a muzzle loader, but uh, let's go ahead and walk over there. I'll go ahead and bring the rifle with me just in case I need to put another round in him, but I doubt it. I heard him crash pretty hard and I hit him good. Um, as soon as I hit him, he took off with his tail down and jumped up and bucked up. So, pretty sure he's, he's a goner, but we're going to go ahead and walk through the woods here. He might spook up something else. I don't know. He was alone. He was kind of on the move. And then when he stopped in that clearing is when I pulled the trigger. So, again, sorry for not getting it on film every time. I can, you know, squirrel hunting is for some reason my, my expertise when it comes to filming. But deer, on the other hand, seems like it never happens for me. But, you know, all in time, I guess. Alright. 
this spot was uh, a real rough place to hunt for some reason all year. No deer traffic at all, um, except when I wasn't here. <laughs> Sounds like something that a Windwalker Outdoors went through. While he wasn't there, all the deer were there. And then while he was there, no deer were moving. But um, anyways... See what happened here. Pretty decent rack on him. He wasn't a small rack by any means. He's probably a couple year old deer. Um, to me, it's so late in the season that I mean, he was just a too much of a good buck to pass up for me. So I still got uh, two more tags to fill. This is one down. my combo license I can get three deer in any season as long as I'm biding by the regulations of that season um, so yeah I knew he was alone, but I'm trying my best here with my phone since I forgot my SD card. really put a number on him though I know that I mean he bucked when I hit him let's see where you're at here I heard him go down I found him right over here. First kill with the blackout. He's a pretty good sized buck. Oh yeah. It went all the way through. That's the that's the opposite side I shot him on. He's down, guys. Three hundred blackout. The Hornaday interlocks. Got some nice mass on him. Not a biggest rack of all, but meat is meat. So he's got some weird looking tines but it'll work appreciate you guys sticking with me to find him I'm gonna roll him over and see what uh, see what he looks like on the other side but you can see there's the exit so I hit him pretty good Set the rifle out of the way
doesn't have a really big uh, entry hole by any means but I don't know if I could find it either but it dropped him and he ran probably I'd say 50 yards from where I shot him got some nice thick tines though for being a small rack those things are big so all right guys I appreciate you watching like I said I'm sorry that I didn't get this shot on film um, you know it sucks it's part of it I guess it happens to everybody but uh, I'm glad that I got to use the 300 blackout this year really thankful for that not that it you know was needed by any means I could have taken that shot with the slug gun but first year we're allowed to use rifles here and uh, first day out so I'm really happy about that and uh, 300 blackout did the job believe it or not with the 150 grain bullet you know a lot of guys think that you should use a smaller bullet for that that's what it was designed for which it probably was I'll give them that but for free bullets that I got with my die sets and my hand loads worked flawlessly and it cycles um, have no issues at all um, rebuilt my 20 round GI style magazine with the Magpul follower you know took it to the range last week got it dialed in awesome so as always guys I appreciate you watching I hope you like the video here um, little commentary behind the behind the scenes basically but anyways we will catch you on the next video and now the fun begins the easiest part was pulling the trigger see you later